When thinking about grief, we often prescribe it to the physical loss of a person, place, or thing. But what happens when the catalyst of our grief is in arm's reach? Like a severed relationship or a lost opportunity, we often get trapped by the replay of what could have been, and regret tends to settle into our thought processes. This is where we find ourselves in our series, Navigating Grief with Faith. This week, we're diving into the topic of living in this world, but not of it, which starts with our perspective and how we process our role in the fabric of our lives. You know, life can sometimes feel like a storm, especially when dealing with grief. It's heavy and those waves can really crash down on us. But here's the good news. When we embrace our identity as citizens of heaven, we can weather those storms with grace. First up, let's talk about our dual citizenship. Philippians 3 and 20 tells us that while we're living on this earth, our true home is with God. Just imagine that for a moment. This perspective helps us remember what really matters. It's like having a compass that always points to hope, even when everything around us is chaotic. Next, we want to seek heavenly perspectives. In Colossians 3 and 2, we're reminded to think about the things of heaven. It's so easy to get caught up in daily stress, work, relationships, and bills, but focusing on God's promises gives us peace. Picture this, when we fix our eyes on eternal truths, we can breathe a little easier and find clarity amid the noise. Now let's engage with compassion. Matthew 5 verses 14 through 16 says, we're the light of the world. Even when we're struggling, reaching out to others can be so powerful. Imagine sharing a smile or a listening ear. Those small acts of kindness can bring light, not just to others, but back into our own lives. As we pour out, God brings supply and increase. Then we embrace the peace of Christ. In John 14 and 27, Jesus offers us a gift, a peace that the world cannot give. Creating a peace space in our homes allows us to invite that peace in. Picture a cozy corner with soft lighting and your favorite verses. It's a sanctuary where you can recharge and refocus on what truly matters. Finally, let's talk about maintaining eternal hope. In 2 Corinthians 4 and 18, we're reminded to focus on what we cannot see, the eternal promises of God. Keeping a hope journal can be a game changer. Each time you feel weighted down, revisit the entries and let them remind you of God's faithfulness. As we wrap up this week, remember that these practices aren't just for those new to the faith or struggling with grief, even if you've walked with God for a long time. Revisiting these exercises can strengthen your spiritual journey. Faith is a daily practice and a way of living that we can all grow in together. Thank you for being a part of this journey. Let's continue to support each other, share our stories, and grow in the love of Christ. Join us at ebccpalmyra.com to experience the full devotional. God bless.